Real Truth Daily. This is Daily Truths with Dave Alvin. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths. Today's message won't be a necessarily a comforting message. Um, I remember seeing a movie years ago, Anchorman. I'm not endorsing it, by the way. There's some stuff in there that's not very godly, I got to admit. But Anchorman was a guy who was really impressed with himself. He was played by Will Ferrell, and he was at a party in this movie, and he was trying to impress this girl, and he came up to her, and he said, do you know who I am? And she goes, no, I, I don't think I do. And he goes, well, I'm kind of a big deal. <laughs> and she said, oh. And then he goes, people know me. <laughs> who says that, right? That's what made it so funny. A lot of people in our culture and in the world, and maybe people you know, and hopefully not you, but... All of us can get caught up in that, right? In status, recognition, praise, what people think of us, how much money we make, how much power we have, what position we have in life. I mean, a lot of people think that's pretty important. Do you know who else felt like that was pretty important? The Pharisees and scribes. Listen to what Jesus says about them in Matthew chapter 23, verse 5. They do all their deeds to be seen by others. In other words, their total motivation is to be seen by others that others might say, wow, look at you. I'm impressed. That was their total motivation. For they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long. What was a phylactery? This was a leather pouch that was placed on a scribe or Pharisee's forehead that had scriptures contained in it. And basically, Jesus was saying they had big phylacteries, large phylacteries to show how much knowledge they had. And then the fringes on their garments indicated that they were holy men of God. That's what the fringes indicated, okay? So, and they love the place of honor at feasts, in other words, at the head table right next to the host, right? And the seats, the best seats in the synagogues placed in the front facing the congregation, kind of like pastors. <laughs> this is one of the reasons when I when I've served at churches, I don't I don't sit in the front and look out at the congregation like look at me. I'd rather sit in a pew with my wife, quite frankly. And greetings in the marketplace and being called rabbi by others. In other words, when they went to the marketplace, they kind of hung out hoping that somebody would recognize who they were and would come to them and call them rabbi because they were really impressed with their status and their education. Oh my, was Jesus letting these guys have it? Now remember, this is during Holy Week. <laughs> this is probably the Tuesday or Wednesday of Holy Week. And Jesus let them have it with both barrels, quite frankly. And we're going to get into that here as, as the days go by. Some of the things he said were just unbelievable. And he, had he said them early in his ministry, oh my goodness, he would have been crucified much earlier. So he waited until the last week, basically, of his life here on earth before his crucifixion, obviously, um, to say some things that he felt needed to be said. Now, what's the application for us? A lot of people, and maybe we ourselves, are really into recognition and praise and status and all these different things, but let's talk about how that really doesn't matter and how all those things are met in our relationship with God. Think about your status. What greater status is there than being called a child of God through faith in Jesus Christ? I think of Jesus' baptism, and this is what God the Father says about you at your baptism. This is my beloved son or daughter in whom I'm well pleased. And recognition, this is what God says about you. We have all the recognition we need in our relationship with God. For he says, fear not, I've redeemed you. I've called you by name. You are mine. And praise, when we serve other people in love, do you know what God the Father says about us? Well done, thou good and faithful servant. And think about Think about the honorary positions. What greater position is there than to be called an accepted, redeemed, forgiven, loved, robed in the righteousness of Christ, child of God, right? I mean, that is so important. And what people think, what does God think about you? He says, you're mine. You belong to me. Nothing can separate you from my love. And think about, you know, how important it is to have money. We have all the riches we need in Christ Jesus, the Bible says. And power, well, there's no greater power in life, according to the Bible, than to serve one another in love. Jesus said it best when he said, whoever would be first among you must be a servant, 
and whoever would be greatest among you must be your slave. Wow. And remember, that was in the context of the disciples saying, hey, when you come into your kingdom, can we sit on your right and left side? Actually, uh, John, James and John's mother said that, right? So Jesus was saying all the stuff that the world says is so important isn't important at all. You see, it's so much more important to be known by our character than by how much we do or what we say or what people think of us, right? And that's Jesus' point. He was saying the Pharisees and scribes are all about appearance, image, and what people think, right? For us as Christians, all of that is rooted and grounded in our relationship with God through faith in Jesus Christ. The older we get, the more mature we become in Christ, the less what people think about us really matters, right? And ultimately, people aren't impressed by how much we have or what we do or how successful we are. People aren't impressed by that. The thing that really makes people remember you is were you kind, were you considerate, did you consider others more important than yourselves? Now, all of this is law. I understand that. And so we go back to the gospel. We go back to the cross of Jesus, recognizing that sometimes we put way too much value on what people think of us and how much money we make and what status we have and what positions we hold. We put way too much status on that. And what Jesus is saying, not only about the scribes and Pharisees, but also about us, that really doesn't matter a tinker's doodle. <laughs> he didn't use that word. though. <laughs> what matters is do you know Christ Jesus, and do you find your identity in him? Billy Graham, one of the most respected theologians and obviously evangelists of all time, was asked this question, you know, what's, what's uh, you know, Dr. Graham? And he said, oh, wait a minute, don't, don't call me Dr. Graham, just call me Billy. I love that. <laughs> He was saying, the only thing that really matters to me is that I'm in a relationship with God through faith in Jesus. And really, ultimately, folks, that's what should matter to you more than anything. That you're in a relationship with God through faith in Jesus Christ. Let that be your dearest treasure, your highest aim, your highest goal, um, your greatest security, your most secure identity, that you are rooted and grounded and founded in Jesus Christ. And ultimately, that is all that really matters. And that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Pastor Dave Allman is the pastor of Mount Hope Church in Boulder, Colorado. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.